Security is in the core of the M2M intelligence platform. It is inbuilt and not an add-on. In fact, Lockbox security policies control everything that happens on the M2MI platform. Every IoT asset, data element, and access is protected by and requires Lockbox security approval. In this video, I will demonstrate some basic Lockbox security policies in the context of a smart city use case. More specifically, I will show you 1. How the Lockbox can be used as an API gateway to control access to the platform and its data. Two. How to create a logbox security policy that looks at current content beyond the static ACLs to determine access at any given time. 3. How to use logbox policies to enable privacy and secure sharing of data across smart city uses. And finally, track the chain of custody of data through logbox data provenance to ensure data trust and enable auditability. The City of Roxdale wishes to outsource the city's parking management to a private company. The private company, Vito Parking, has its employees monitor and manage parking meters using mobile devices while patrolling the streets. In order to provide access to the city-owned parking meter data, the City of Roxdale platform administrators will use lockbox security and privacy policies to control how, when, and who access this data. Logging into the platform as the city of Roxdale, I noticed the parking sensors. Each sensor has its own set of lockbox keys protecting read and write access to its data. This happened automatically as the devices were added. To make things easier, we'll configure access to this data using a group rather than each individual device. Right now, the group has a single key holder attached to the read lockbox key, which allows the bearer to read each group member's data. At the moment, the only key holder is the city of Roxdale, which means no one else can access this parking sensor data. As you can see, when a Vito parking employee tries to access the parking sensor's data via their mobile app, they are denied access. To remediate that, the city created a new account for Vito Parking. The city of Roxdale now adds Vito Parking as a key holder to the read lockbox key of the parking sensor group. Doing so now allows access to the data. As the Vito Parking employee now uses the app, you can see they have access. The City of Roxdale now wants to create a dynamic security policy that uses current context to further control access. One could use context such as user should be in this IP address range or access device should be within these GPS coordinates. In this case, Vito Parking uses Apple iPhone mobile devices. Therefore, the city creates a new lockbox dynamic security policy that will make sure only requests from iPhones are accepted. In the policy wizard, they specify the origin and security level and then add the required conditions that restrict access to iPhones. Let's now go back to our group. We'll remove the current lockbox policy and add the new dynamic one we just created. A quick look at the mobile application and we see that we no longer have access to the data from the sensors. Normal, the Vito parking employee is using an Android. Let's take a closer look at one of the sensor's access history. As we can see, some requests were successful while others failed. This depends on whether a requester was in possession of a lockbox key and whether it satisfies its policies. For example, this request was just rejected because the requester failed to access the device from an iPhone. Note that the other context attributes such as the request location were also captured. This could allow the city of Roxdale to limit access based on the requester's location. This concludes our short demo where we showed you 1. How the lockbox can be used as an API gateway to control access to the platform and data. 2. How to create a lockbox security policy that looks at current content beyond the static ACLs to determine access at any given time. 3. 
how to use lockbox policies to enable secure sharing of data across smart city uses. And finally, track the chain of custody of data through lockbox data provenance.